Hey hey survivors, welcome to a new video with Paul, and welcome to a different kind of reservoir raid video. In this video I'll show you why we won this match. So grab a drink, sit back and enjoy. Our opponent yesterday was the TWP Alliance from State 851, which is ranked 82nd among all states. Their three main leads Thunderblade, Yoshi and Nanali are all collection level 90. So we knew that this wasn't going to be an easy match. The match started quite normally. As always, we tried to focus on the two water treatment centers and the solar station. But we soon ran into big problems at the two treatment centers. We couldn't kick Thunderblade, and Yoshi and Nanali kicked us with double rallies. Here you can see the first of their double rallies. We narrowly managed to fend off the first rally, but had no chance in the second one. So it was no surprise that after 15 minutes we were already about 11,000 points behind. So we needed a plan B. This initially consisted of keeping their strongest rally lead busy at the central reservoir so that we could recapture one of the treatment centers. But that wasn't enough. Shortly before the water tanks opened, our deficit had already grown to around 24,000 points. So there was only one way for us to win this match. We had to try to dominate the water tanks. We were able to clearly dominate the first round of tanks, but with the three main buildings they were still able to extend their lead. Round two of the water tanks started and we began to recapture one or two buildings in the hope of getting more water puddles than our opponent. At this point we controlled almost all of the water tanks and were able to reduce their lead even further. We continued to dominate the tanks. If someone couldn't occupy a tank, one of the stronger players was immediately there to help. And so the match was almost even again with less than 20 minutes on the clock. And a few minutes later it finally happened, we took the lead, but it was still very very close. Here you can see what total dominance means, from the second round of tanks onwards, our water rate was always almost twice as high as that of our opponents, and that was despite the fact that we didn't have the three largest buildings most of the time. To finally secure our victory, we kicked them out of the central reservoir at the very end. If we look at the final report, it's clear that we had almost no chance at the buildings, but we were able to more than make up for that with the water tanks and the puddles. But that's only possible if you really play as a team and are able to change your strategy during the match. But I don't want to forget our opponents from TWP, they gave us an incredibly tough fight. Thank you for that, and congratulations to my team members from Cobb, I'm so proud of you and this incredible victory. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different Reservoir Raid video and that you liked the video, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you soon with more new videos.